all very very happy evening to each and every one who is watching me live very very important session most of the students who purchased online course most of them are facing problem in terms of the structure in which they need to go through the course what to which topic they should start their preparation after which topic what is the next topic they need to discuss complete information regarding order to be followed while watching the Anil Nair classes video course. Entire ANC backend team is working very hard to ensure that each one of you get every possible information which will not only help you to maximize your chances of clearing the aptitude examination but also give a direction to your preparation. Before we start the class, very clear to you. Next thing, arithmetic. Number system, six sets are there. You will study in that order. Then topic test, then sectional test. Then you will get into a full length test which we call it as a mock test. Arithmetic, extremely important topic. Very, very important topic. Very, very important topic. And entire aptitude, each and every topic, your efficiency will grow only with a lot of practice always remember how you will practice this one first you will understand the concept first you will understand the concepts then you will understand the application of the concepts then you will gain a knowledge over that topic this is the steps to learn Always you should start with a theory, starting from what is a percent, what is a percentage, what is a percentile, percentage increase, percentage decrease. Fundamentals are, remember the three thumb rules. Always learn the fundamentals, always practice after the fundamentals are there challenge the tough questions from a fundamental angle point of view revisit revisit anything that you studied today i always tell it in my enrolled class 48 hour principle anything that you learnt today within 48 hours again relearn it so that you can maximize it after solving the rest of the questions i hope it is clear first we always recommend the basic idea first then fundamental level questions then go to the subtopics. I hope the idea it is very clear. This is the beauty of a thematic basic learning. Sir, can you please explain how we should prepare for arithmetic? What is the structure that we need to follow for arithmetic? See here, this is the structure that you need to follow. While studying percentages, you will not go into time, speed and distance. Now let us see the study plan of arithmetic. Study plan of arithmetic. Entire arithmetic I divided into five sets. Set number one, first you will start with percentages, percentage increase, percentage decrease. Because these are simple interest and compound interest is an example of percentage increase and percentage decrease. Profit loss and discount is also an example of percentage increase and decrease. If you are starting with percentages, Till profit loss and discount is done, you will not get into the next sets. Set number one, percentage till profit loss and discount. This is set number one. I hope the idea it is clear. Once the percentages, the first fundamental block is over, then you will get into set number two. Set number two. What is set number two? Set number two is like we discussed percentages and application. Here we will discuss ratios and application. We will discuss ratios, compound ratios, proportions, variation, direct variation, inverse variation, application of ratios in partnership related problems, application of ratios in ages related problems. I hope by this time a student who is a repeater or who understands the connecting the dot principle will be able to correlate that this is the right way of studying a topic. Ratios, proportion, variation, 
application of ratios on partnership and ages this is set number 2 i hope the idea it is clear one is percentage based another is a ratio based next another important topic how to find out the average on a single dimension how to find out the average on a two dimension what will happen if some quantity is removed what will happen if some quantity is added what will happen if a quantity is removed and if a quantity is added removal and replacement what is the inverse of weighted average that is allegation if you are starting with averages you will keep on studying till removal and replacement this is a bucket number 3 or set number 3 while going through averages you will not go through time speed and distance this is the structure of the classes this is the structure set number 4 we will go through now see here set 1 2 3 are the independent topics set number 4 either you can use percentages to solve time speed and distance little landier method or we will use ratios to solve time speed and distance method some problem problems it can be solved very fast or we can use the lcm concept so set number 4 time speed and distance all the concepts related to time speed and distance problems average speed related problems train related problems boats and streams related problems linear races circular races escalators and all the previous year examination question types set number 4 is time speed and distance set number 5 is time and work when i say miscellaneous i am referring to pipes and cisterns i am referring to pipes and cisterns so totally if you look at arithmetic arithmetic totally how many five sets are there five different sets are there when you are going through set 1 you will not go through set 2 when you are going through set 3 you will not get into set number 4 sequential order you have to solve remember very very important take a screenshot of this one and study in the same order remember our thumb rule first we will learn all these concepts in a sequential order after we learn the concept in a sequential order once the concepts are understood in the videos then you will attempt every test when you are sitting and attempting a test put your mobile on a switch off mode if the mobile is in silent mode it will disturb you if the mobile is ringing it will disturb everybody around so keep the mobile in a switch off mode attempt it on a real in case if you are writing an online examination i prefer that you write the examination on a desktop or a laptop or a tab so that you will have that familiarity also attempt right after every sub topic has been learnt then you will attempt suppose set number 1 is over set number 1 topic test you will attempt set number 2 is over topic test you will attempt set number 3 it is over topic test you will attempt set number 4 topic test you will attempt set number 5 topic test you will attempt after the five set topic tests are over you will attempt a sectional test i hope the step by step process to attempt the topic test is also clear to you next one these are which is these are the three months package these are the six months package these you can get connect mother teresa said so beautifully if you do not know how to take care of the child give it to me i will take care of the child i want to rephrase it for you if you do not know how to plan your studies watch this video and prepare a plan and always remember this thumb rule go through the fundamentals first practice 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 always try to solve tougher problems using the fundamentals and most importantly get your examination syllabus plan and divide it into sets and plan it coverly attempt the test topic test then sectional test then mock test paper after watching the videos of course you can always attempt a few mock papers to understand your performance which we call it as a diagnostic test i hope this video is of tremendous use to you